All right, breaking news uh, coming in. A, a political war of words has erupted over former Mumbai top cop Rakesh Maria's tell-all book. Railway Minister Piyush Goyal has said there was a political cons conspiracy by former Home Minister P. Chidambaram to project 2611 as a, a Hindu terror attack. Goyal was reacting to reports that the former Mumbai police chief Rakesh Maria claims Pakistan had tried to pass off, pass off 2611 attacker Ajmal Kasab as a Hindu. Maria Ji ne is sab baatein abhi kyu boli? Jab wo police commissioner the, tab unhone is sab baatein bolni chahiye. Vastav mein service rules mein, agar koi jankari varisht police adhikariyon ke paas hai, to unko ne uske upar action lena chahiye tha. Aur mere khayal se ek bahut gheri sajish rachi gayi thi Congress dwara. यूपीए द्वारा झूठ और फरेब का एक और नमूना उस समय हमने देखा था जब उन्होंने एक पूरी तरीके से झूठा हिंदू टेरर की बोगी चिदम्बरम साहब के कहने पे करने खड़ी करने की कोशिश की थी मैं समझता हूं मैं निंदा करता हूं कांग्रेस का और सभी उन लोगों का जो हिंदू टेरर के झूठे आरोपों पे एक नई देश में गुमराह करने की उस समय कोशिश की थी कांग्रेस ने Okay, Devesh uh, is joining us uh, live from Mumbai. We are also being joined by Gaurav Savant in the studio, uh, in fact, in the, from the newsroom uh, on this story. Devesh, very quickly, coming to you first, what is it that has caught, uh, created so much controversy in this book of Rakesh Maria? Uh, Ankit, this is a book uh, which is titled Let Me uh, Let Me Say It Now, which has been written by former Mumbai Police Commissioner Rakesh Maria. And on the four, four uh, on the page number 483, 20th line specifically, there is a line which says, "There were their photographs were clicked to make fake identity cards to pass them off as Indian Hindus." He refers to Ajmal Kasab and the other terrorists who launched attacks in Mumbai. On in uh, November 2008, which was the 26/11 terror attack, and also it further mentions to complete the Hindu impersonation. This has uh, been reported earlier also when we were reporting the 26/11 terror attack case. This is also mentioned in the charge sheet, and the same has been mentioned now by Rakesh Maria in his book, which is a tell-all book, which is an autobiography by Rakesh Maria, who was uh, controversially shunted out of uh, Mumbai police and transferred as. DG Home Guards because of his uh, because of uh, some allegations that made uh, that were made uh, on him in the, uh, while uh, investigating the Sheena Bora murder case he was shunted to uh, as uh, Director General Home Guards while he was a Mumbai Police Commissioner in 2015 after that. Uh, the Rakesh Maria retired and was, uh, did not. Uh, he just released this book, which is a tell-all autobiography, where he has mentioned about several other cases. Right. And one important case that he mentions about is the 26/11 terror attack case. Okay, Devesh, stay on with me. Let me bring in Gaurav Savant as well. Gaurav, I don't understand what uh, is new in what uh, Rakesh Maria has said, and how is the Congress uh, being attacked by the uh, Railway Minister? Because the fact remains. It is well known, uh, even when you were reporting and during the 26-11 and the investigation after that, that pa this was a Pakistan game and they tried uh, a red thread around Ajmal Kasab's hand to pass him off as an Indian national. All that was unraveled as soon as this guy was caught. So the fact that Rakesh Maria mentions this has given the BJP a stick to beat the Congress with. Uh, this was a massive conspiracy to show the 2611 Mumbai terror attacks as a Hindu terror conspiracy. I was in the Chicago Federal Courthouse uh, covering the David Coleman Headley trial where David Coleman Headley told his interrogators in the Federal Bureau of Investigation that he had bought the Kalava or that sacred uh, saffron thread, red thread from the Siddhi Vinayak temple. And the fact that it was a well-hatched conspiracy over a sustained period of time, identity cards showing them as Hindus uh, uh, from uh, Gujarat, uh, also the sacred thread, also the fact that just, and that's the, that's the attack that the BJP is mounting on the Congress, that's the time that you had political leaders and Bollywood star celebrities who were releasing a book which said 2611 was an RSS conspiracy. Mm. So in all of this, all of this, Rakesh Maria's revelation has given the BJP a big stick to beat the Congress and especially some leaders of the Congress with. Okay, Gaurabha, during the entire trial as far as 2611 is concerned, 
Ujwal Nigam and the entire prosecution had mentioned this, isn't it? I mean, it's not something which has which is new, which has now come out. Well, it's known to you and I. You and I covered this trial. Uh, I covered it in Mumbai and in Chicago, and all these aspects had come out. The identity cards had come out uh, with their with their Hindu names. Uh, yes. But look at look at that wider net. The fact that Pakistanis were hatching a conspiracy to send 10 Pakistani Lashkar-e-Taiba terrorists into India. They were wearing a kalava and the effort was to show it as Hindu terror. Also the fact that, uh, you know, the, the Samjhota train blast, which Arif Kasmani of Lashkar-e-Taiba was involved in that terror attack. Yes. So, so much evidence was given not just by India, but also by the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Arif Kasmani was a Pakistani, but then uh, Samjhota was also indicated to be a Hindu terror attack. Right. So this is the aspect that now all these things are being linked together, which gives the ruling BJP or Minister Piyush Goyal okay. uh, an opportunity to target those who were targeting the BJP and the RSS then. Gaurav, I request you to stay on with me. Uh, Devesh, thank you for joining us. Hi everyone, Preeti Chaudhary here. Hope you like this video for latest news and analysis. Like and subscribe to the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you for watching.